Set in Mumbai, The Lunchbox is a story of a woman who tries to spice up her life by sending her indifferent husband a special lunchbox. By mistake, it's delivered to a lonely man who's not her husband. She's curious when she doesn't hear back, so she sends a note in a second lunchbox. She and the stranger strike up a virtual romance. Let's see if the audience here at Sundance found The Lunchbox savory or sour. I liked it very much. It wasn't the movie I thought it was going to be, and I love the little slice of life that we got. It was amazing, yeah. It's, uh, it really showed the connection of people just without even talking to each other or ever meeting. It was kind of amazing to see how intimate people can get without ever seeing each other in person. Um, and the ending was really surprising. Yeah, it was, it was a really, um, charming movie. I never knew about the lunchbox system in India, so that was also very interesting. Um, I don't know what else to say. I liked it. It was great. It was really charming. Um, I loved the actors, and the, the movie had a great message. So I, I, it's being released in February. I think people should go see it. <laughs> I liked it a lot. I was genuinely moved. To quote, to quote a lot, an old friend of mine, Vito Russo, I was genuinely moved. So I was very touched. Very good. On a scale of one to five, what would you give it? Four. 4.5. Oh, definitely like a 4.8. Four and a half. You know, I think we'd give it a four and a half. I'd say four and a half. Yeah. The Lunchbox actually premiered at the Cannes Film Festival Critics Week. It won an Audience Choice Award there, but here it's in the spotlight category and not in competition. This is Wendy Chioji with the Sundance Film Festival Movie Review for Park City Television.